that I'm not going to talk about. Remember, uh, just because the guy, and, and, and you know, I, I love ESPN, but the ESPN, just because they got boxing writers and, he, and, they, and they're paying these guys, doesn't mean they're right. So when you, when you see, when you see Fight Hike post, uh, when you see a text message from me and you see, I say, this is not true. Yup, you know what time it is, man. This is, of course, your favorite channel, man. This is CTEB. It's Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slipay. Hey, so what up to him, man? What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Most definitely. You tune into a segment we call here, Chan Check. It's when we write you guys a chain about boxing news, boxing information, boxing rumors. And sometimes we put some money in you guys' pockets by giving you the odds of the fight. But today we want to touch on the rumor mill a little bit. And of course, let's talk about the, the, the man who want to stay in the spotlight of boxing, even though he retired. The recent Hall of Fame inductee, Floyd Money Mayweather, man. It seems like his name is always attached to some of the largest names in boxing to this day, even though he's not fighting any of these guys, man. So, uh, I'm going to let you break the news, man. What was what was the news that you tried to break when it comes to Mayweather and uh, Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence? So, it seems like uh, Mayweather and McGregor could be having a a, sec, a a second fight and at first i was kind of thinking it might just be a room with people throwing out there but then it popped up on fight hype which everybody knows is pretty much owned by mayweather so for it to be posted on fight hype mayweather wanted that information release so they was talking about having that fight i think don't hold me to it i think in the august or september they tried to have that fight for the mcgregor and mayweather fight and that they felt like they could make uh it could be a billion dollar fight whatever so I got me to thinking, and to me, the time is horrible. And the question I am presenting to you, do you feel like Mayweather is kind of hating on Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence by trying to have a mega event right around the time where you're probably going to be promoting one of the biggest fights in boxing that we've had since Mayweather and Pacquiao? I'm gonna go a little. I'm gonna go a little deeper than that. I think Mayweather just he hates anybody in the sport that he's that he don't make money with. Because if you look at it, it's not the only people he's shitting on. He's pretty much shitting on uh, the Triple G versus Canelo fight also. Because they probably fight in September around the Cinco de Mayo. Am I correct? Is it around Cinco de Mayo time they fighting? He sh- he's shitting on that fight and he's shitting on PBC other fight with uh Ortiz and um and uh. Oh, God, they were Andy. Andy, Andy Ruiz, yep. I go, I go even farther than that. He just recently started shit on his own his own fighter in Tank Davis by having an exhibition fight a week before his fight with uh, Romeo Romero. So it goes, to me, it goes deeper than just uh, him hating on another fighter. To me, I think he look at everything as a marketing plan. Like, let's go back to the Tank Davis fight. In my opinion, the whole the whole rumor about by Tank Davis leaving Mayweather Promotions and you know him and Mayweather's beefing, even not showing up to, to a Tank Davis fight, all that stuff to me was a rumor to for promotion for him to promote himself in that exhibition and everything about. It didn't work, in my opinion. I don't I don't know anybody in the states that actually took that, that exhibition in the series. Uh, but now let's fast forward to him fighting, uh, supposedly fighting McGregor in a rematch. Around those dates, to me, I think he just trying to use those dates because he know that he can market himself on his social media. Uh, it don't necessarily have to be on there, on television. He can just market himself on the social media around the boxing time that, um, that Canelo's in the ring or that Terrence Crawford Earl Spence in the ring. And he can attach his date to their date and say, yeah, watch me on Mayweather. I, I'm still the, the highest paying man in boxing. I'm having a rematch with McGregor, which I don't think nobody really asked for anyway. And I'm going to outsell all of them guys. I think this is, he just using it as a marketing employee. He just been... He's been floored in my opinion. But I think he probably bit out a little more than he can shoot with this one. I think Canelo Triple G and and most definitely Errol Spence with Terrence Crawford. It's gonna the numbers is gonna embarrass his in my opinion. My I think he being a hater. I think but I think it's just in him. I think he is a um he's a whore. He's a attention whore. I think he like attention. I think he like being a man. I think he missed being the megastar in boxing that he was. He's having a hard time letting it go, I believe. He has enough money. And, and I'm not blaming him for still doing these these type of fights. Because if you can get a bad fight in the guy that he's fighting and make $20, $30, 50000000 million, $100 million if you fight a McGregor, and you can make that type of money to fight those type of guys, he, he should be able to do it till he's 50. I mean, I'm not going to hate on no man that can make that easy bread. 
get your money. I just hate the time, and like you said, because like you said, Tank Davis fight. He comes out, he comes out, and he has a fight the week before. Spence is fighting the Ugas. He starts, he starts talking out of the blue. Uh, Crawford comes out and fight uh, Prince Porter. He starts talking out of the blue. Uh, but like you said, you got Canelo and Triple G coming up in September, and you got uh, Spence and Crawford. Soon after that, he he comes talking about McGregor Part Two. Then in the, the negotiation with Spence and Crawford, he said he gonna announce when the fight is gonna be made, and that he's in control of the fight. That's an attention hold to me. Like that's like that's like Drake saying he gonna drop an album on the seventeenth. And then Jay-Z said, I'm going to drop an album September the 10th, a week before Drake come out. Like, mm-hmm. get out the way and let these young boys eat, man. Let them have their shine, man. Like, he, he could have that fight in May, next May or, I don't know, February or next year or on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or whatever, have that fight and still do great numbers. Why you got to have it in the same time frame? Because I feel like that's an important time for Spencer Crawford because around the time when he's having that fight, that's when they're going to be promoting their own fight. And he's going to bring that circus to town and it's going to take some of the attention away from the biggest fight because us as boxing fans and hardcore boxing fans, we want the sport to grow. We want us, we want this to be our night. We want we want the shit on all the other sports, football, basketball. We're one of the biggest fights that we think, in me and your opinion, since 19, the 1980s between uh, Sugar Ray and, and uh, Hearns or Sugar Ray and Hadler around that time frame. So I don't need you getting in the way, but I think he's afraid because to me, I think he felt like the, the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight was it was garbage as far as the 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 Action. excitement, the actual yeah. fight. Mm-hmm. So it didn't live up to that part, and I think that scares him that this Spence and Crawford fight or two fights or three fights could be classic fights. Which Mayweather, even though I think he's one of the greatest and can be and can call himself the TBE, one thing that Mayweather lacks is that one rival opponent that classic poem that these other fighters had. Like you said, Hearns, Hadler, they all had each other. Uh, like you said, uh, Spence and Crawford have each other. Who does Mayweather have? Yeah, really De, De La Hoya. Of course, he had Pacquiao. He had Ricky Hatton. He had, he had, he had, he had some names him on his Pac- list. That but him, but him, and Pacquiao, him and Pacquiao waited too long. They, they were the yeah. rivals that could have fought, but you got Spence and Crawford in their peaks. And we're we going to get them in their peaks, not not Spence and Crawford at 42 or 38 and 37. You know, so so I'm, I think it's different. So it, it's just my opinion. I'm going to tell you why I think it's just him attaching his name to big fights. Because back when Canelo was about to fight Bivol, you hear him on Fire High talking about how Canelo was easy work, how he, he, he cooked this dude at, at almost 40. To me, it's just, I think he just, he, he attaches his name to the big fighters before their big events. Because he want those fighters to respond to what he's saying. Cause if he get those, if he can get, if he would have got Canelo to respond to what he said, he got promotion. That's what he, that's what he wants. He want, he wanted, he wanted fight height. You know, like he said, he, he pretty much a fight height owner. He owns fight height. He wanted fight height to go over there and be like, yo, Canelo, uh, Mayweather said on my platform that you was easy work. He was 40 years old. What you got to say about that? Canelo didn't take the bait, but that's what Mayweather wants. Watch what I tell you. Eventually, fighters are going to go up to Earl Spence and they're going to go to Terrence Crawford. They're going to be like, Mayweather said this about the fight. You know what I'm saying? Is it true that Mayweather has something to do with the fight? Will, will he be the one announcing the fight? They're going to ask them that question. So it was up to them on whether they want to give Floyd that promotion or just to know it and say, no, nah, Floyd, Floyd had nothing to do with this. Artists don't say his name at all. I think if he don't, they, they don't say his name at all, then it will cause him to hate on them. He would, he would definitely hate them if they don't give him what he wants. I think Floyd is that stubborn. I think he's the kid that you take the candy from with the acting bad, he's going to throw a hissy fit. I think if they don't give him what he wants and mention his name that they want him to, he's going to throw a hissy fit and then he's going to pretty much, he's going to start talking off the wall shit. He might even say, say some shit like, uh, I, I smoke Earl Spence and sparring. He might, he might wind up giving more information about the sparring mm-hmm. that caused Earl Spence to come out and say, no, come on, man, I black you out for real and I try to keep it quiet. You know what I'm saying? That's what Floyd does. He stirs up the pot just so now I can go in there and fight Conor McGregor again. And I'm going to be honest, man, just about Floyd's last fight, he he's, he didn't look in shape, man. I don't think he want to go in there with a McGregor who's coming off a loss, who's desperate to get back in the win column because he hasn't won in the fight on that level in a long time. So man, Gregor might go on that extra motivated and it might wind up, you know, beating the old man this time. You never know. So I think he need I think he need to stay retired, man, and just enjoy his uh his, his Hall of Fame retirement. Uh but you got anything else you want to add to that topic? I think we covered it all. 
hope man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna end on this, man. I hope Tank, man, I hope Tank sees this, man, and actually decides to go on and do his own thing, and lead it and leave this man with the promotion because it, it's a toxic ass relationship. I said this after seeing Floyd in the guy's corner over talking to his trainers and all that. I'm hoping, I don't know if it happened or not, but I know they, uh, his contract was up with Mayweather Promotions. I hope he sees this and does not resign with them if he haven't, haven't already resigned with them. But we don't know. We'll find out. We'll see who promotes his next fight. Uh, but with that being said, man, this is, of course, your favorite channel, man, CTB. This is Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Say peace to him, man. All right, everybody. Remember, please, please hit the like button, subscribe, notification comment you know why because we love boxing and you love boxing but most of all god peace and love and we out of here take care